I'm going to read this. This uh, Sandy shared it on Facebook a while ago, and it just it's perfect. It's from Jesse Duplantis. Life's tough, but unless you want to fall down and die over your troubles, it is time for you to get up, straighten up your mind, wipe your tears away, and the re resist the temptation to quit. Well, today is not your day, devil. How do you stop atta the attacks of the devil in your life when you do more or greater things in the ministry? Number one, you stop claiming that it's going to happen. In Proverbs 18 and 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. They, th they that... Love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The Message Bible says, Words kill, words give life. They are either poison or fruit, you choose. So that means you choose. If you say, if you keep saying the devil is really attacking me, then you're bringing it on yourself. He has the right to keep doing what he's doing in your life because you keep giving him the power to do so. Because the devil only has the power that you give him. Stop listening to people tell you that the devil is going to attack you. I don't know how many times people told me or how many times I've told other people that are starting Bible college. Well... You're starting Bible college now. The devil's really going to start attacking you. That's what we, we all do it. Why do we do that to people? We do it because we think we're helping them, but, we're, we, but really we're not doing people. We are really doing people an injustice. We are planting that seed for them. Maybe he is, but we need to stop telling people that he is. What we really need to do for people when they start to step out in the ministry or start Bible college or start anything like that is to start praying for them and start teaching them how to stop the devil's attacks. James 4, 7. It says, Submit yourself therefore unto God. Re resist the devil and he will flee from you. If you submit to God's call on your life, then the devil has to flee because you have submitted to what God had appointed for you to do in the first place. Confess good things over your life daily. Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, Whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think on such things. Confess the word over yourself daily. That means speak God's promises over your life. Quit saying, I'm this and I'm that, and start confessing that you're a queen. you the princess of the Most High God. I am the prince. Stop confessing this trash that we have that we normally confess to ourselves you know we sit here and tell us tell ourselves we let the devil tell us daily that we ain't no good I've been there and he just plays on your mind over and over again but guess what your daddy is the most high king <laughs> you are royalty so why why keep saying that you worthless Renew your mind daily. The best way to keep your devil off the back, off your back, 
And to stay on track with God is to stay in the Word. Read it all the time, whether it's the Bible or other book co books on biblical topics. Join Bible College. That'll keep you in the Word a whole lot. I know these things that we're talking about, we all know them. We all know sh we should do them. But sometimes I just think we need to be reminded of them. And remember that God is greater than any burdens you are carrying. Stop stressing yourself out, too. Take whatever is bothering you and leave it at the feet of Jesus. Tell him your needs. Release the burdens of whatever you are holding back. Just let it go. Then there, there is no need to be worried or filled with anxiety. God is in complete control of your future. When you ask for him... When you ask him for help, rest assured he's already won that battle for you. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and a sound mind. Think about that. We need to read that, how it really is written right there. It says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power if you read it right and he's given us the spirit of love and he's given us the spirit of a sound mind God has not given us the spirit of fear but he has given us the spirit of power and that spirit is the Holy Spirit God has actually given you each and every one of us a spirit of power power you, you actually have the spirit of power living on the inside of you right now. You can, de you can defeat anything that the devil throws at you because you have that sp spirit of power within you. And what are you thinking? Being defeated by the devil all the time? It's not a good thing. Know that you have that power through the Holy Spirit. Know that you have the power to raise people from the dead, even your own kids in the living room floor. You have the power to raise them from the dead. You don't give in to the devil. I will believe, I believe right now with all my heart and soul, if I hadn't start praying right then and there, Nikki would not be with us today. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. It says it right there in John 8, 44. He is a murderer from the beginning. He, ab he abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. He speaketh a lie. He speaketh, his own for his, he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. The devil is a lie. And Nikki is doing great, healed and hold so much that the doctors can't even find anything wrong with her now. God is good all the time. You also have the spirit of love inside of you. I know you said this before because I have to. I just can't like him or her. They rubbed me the wrong way. Well, they just might be your sandpaper that God's put in your life to to smooth out your rough edges. <laughs> so you are, you are capable of loving anyone. As Bishop would say it, you just got to tap into that spirit of love. And you, have a, and you have a spirit of a sound mind. Think on that for a minute. The spirit of a sound mind. To me, that means depression or anything like it has no place in you, me, or none of God's children. Your mind is sound, whole, completely healed, happy, normal, and nothing can change that if you keep it on God. Okay, say, you failed a test that the devil throwed at you. Say you slipped and did something really stupid. Or say you acted like a donkey today. 
at the Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> and now the devil has you right where he wants you. Well, he thinks that anyway. Get up, dust your knees off, and get back on track. The devil is a lie. Stop letting, t stop letting him tell you that you are no longer worthy to be what you once were. As Garrett said so well this morning, you are still the righteousness of Christ. So start acting like it. Quit wallowing around in your self-pity. Get it and get it back together. Pull yourself together. Get up, pull up your big boy and girl pants, and get on with it. Why are you still wallowing in the pig pen when you are royalty, sons and daughters of the Most High King? Turn your life back over to God. Repent and turn away, and God will run to you like the father did with the prodigal son. He saw him afar off, and he ran to him. Our Heavenly Father is always there waiting on us to turn to him. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmities so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproach, in necessities, and in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sakes, for when I am weak, then I am strong. The enemy is not fighting you because you're weak. He's fighting you because you're strong. And he wants to stop you. In first first Corinthians fifteen fifty eight in the Message Bible, with all this going for us, my dear dear friends, stand your ground. Don't hold back. Throw yourself into the work of the Master, confident that nothing you do if for him is a waste of time or effort. And don't focus on your problems. Focus on God and his power to carry you through. God is able. This is a quote from C.S. Lewis that I really love. God whispers to us in our pleasures, speak to us, speaks to us in our conscience, but shouts to us in our pain. Know that when you are hurting, God is shouting to you so that you know he's still there. You also need to understand the strongholds in your life, your personal weaknesses, whether it be drugs, sex, money, depression, anger, guilt, anything that you're, any area that you're weak in with your life, the devil uses them against you. He wants you to stop what you're doing for God and go back to the way you were. Stay under the covering of God also. Don't put yourself out there to be played with by the devil. Don't be unequally yoked in your marriage. You can't change them. Don't be unequally yoked in your friendships because you can't change them either. 99% of the time, they will bring you down to their level, not you up, bringing them up to yours. Before long, you're cut up, caught up in the same old things or the same mess that you was delivered from in the first place. Stay away from goofy people. That's bishops too. Know who you really are. Know your worth in Christ. See yourself the way God sees you. Know that you're a child of the Most High. Know that you're good enough to do what you have been called to do in the kingdom. Whom he calls, he equips. Know that, know that if you were the only one on earth, that Christ still would have died for you and you alone. You were worth everything that he went through on the cross. And also know that there are people right here in this church for you. Know that we have the best bishop and pastor ever. Know that they are always here for you. Know that you do not have to turn to... Know that you do have people to turn to here, too, 
but also know that most of them will tell you how it is raw and uncut <laughs> and are not going to coddle you in your sin. They're going to love you through it, but they're going to be straight with you also. And that is only because they love you so much. Read Psalms 91 daily for protection. Remember this. You have the power and authority to regain all the territory that the devil has stolen from you. God has given you all the grace and all the ability to get the results you desire. Devil, today is not your day, and tomorrow ain't looking good either. <laughs>